Hey. Hello everyone. Welcome again to my channel, the Creative Agile IT. So in today's new video, I'm going to share the 10 safe principles. At a very high level, we will try to understand. We will not go into very much detail uh, because each of the principles can be explained uh, in detail in a separate video, which I will see, I will plan for it. But I mean, the focus of this video will be to understand the 10 safe principles at a very high level. And then uh, our focus will be how we can use an acronym. So I have designed an acronym, which I am calling as foundation to remember and maybe use these 10 safe principles. So let us start. So these are the set of 10 safe principle, which are the foundation of the scaled agile framework. So the very first one is a take an economic view. So at a very high level, that means, you know, considering the finances, the cost or the economics as a basis of all of our decision making. So let's say we are, whether we are choosing a technology, whether we are opting for a tools or, you know, let's say for an existing product, we have tried to come up with a set of features. So economics is one of the basis of, you know, our decision making. So keeping the economics, the financials, the cost as a foundation. And the second one is applying systems thinking. So at a very high level, that means, you know, we consider system as a whole and we are not just focusing on a part of it. We are considering, we are taking a holistic approach, you know, in our solution designing, in our you know, product designing. So we are considering the complete ecosystem as a whole. Third one is assume variability and preserve options. So we all work in a, uh, in a, in a, in a, manner that you know the changes may come i mean sometimes it could be the market conditions have changed if you're working on a new product so we have to assume that you know variability or change is inevitable right i mean it may come to us so what we can do about those changes so we have to keep our options open we have to preserve our options so when we say we have to preserve our option that means you know from a design perspective can we go for a set based design approach that means not fixing the complete design at a very early in the cycle right i mean uh, that could be risky so we have to preserve our option and the reason we have to preserve options we have to uh, consider that you know variability is uh, one of the very much thing which can happen and the fourth one is built incrementally with fast integrated learning cycles so that all means you know we work in its small increments small sprints or iterations so that you know we focus on the continuous value generation fifth one is base our milestones on objective evaluation of working system so compared to the waterfall model approach where we used to have a fixed milestone which are primarily the document generation based like you know we have completed the requirements we have got it approval we have completed the design and the design document has been approved so rather than that you know we are focusing on the actual system which the team has developed so far and how we can objectively evaluate that working systems so right i mean when we work in the iterations we try to demonstrate like how much we have done so the focusing focus is on the actual system which the teams have been developing i mean how we can objectively evaluate and see that you know where we are heading in terms of the value generation and the next one is making our value flow without interruptions so that means you know when we have diagnosed our complete flow uh, in our systems in our product uh, cycle how we can ensure that you know that value flow uh, is kind of like uh, consistent and uh, it's moving at a sustained pace and uh, we are able to remove the blockers or interruptions in our flow we have optimized it so that's the purpose Next one is applying cadence and synchronize with cross domain planning. So when we are working with the multiple teams and they are part of the same product development and we, they are using the same art, we have to ensure that, you know, they have using the same cadence and same uh, synchronized events so that, uh, you know, they can interact well and collaborate with uh, each other. Next one is uh, unlocking the intrinsic motivation of knowledge workers. That means, you know, empowering our teams, giving them the right uh, set of authority or autonomy so that, you know, they feel motivated in the work that they are doing. Right. So that uh, means like right motivation for the teams to uh, be part of this development. Second last one is decentralizing decision making. So that's very important that, you know, not leaving everything to the high level management because that could delay. I mean, there could be certain decision which could be given to the teams so that, you know, they take those set of decisions and that uh, will definitely make things fast and will empower the teams as well. So decentralizing decision making is also very important. Last one 
is organizing around value that means you know we have identified the value streams and we are uh, focusing on the value generation and that's how we have organized our work i mean we are we have organized our work in a, in a value flow uh, manner so these are kind of like uh, 10 safe principles and like i said you know i have explained on a very high level like what are these 10 safe principles and now our focus will be how we can use an acronym to define these 10 safe principles and maybe if you are giving any exam that acronym could help us so this is our acronym which i am calling as foundation so that it is easy to remember so what is the foundation acronym where f stands for the financial view consideration the very first principle of safe that, that means uh, take an economic view or you know finances so financial view consideration o is like overall holistic approach you know when we talk about the systems thinking applying the system thinking so o stands for overall or complete holistic approach u stands for unpredictability assumption and preserving our options that means you know going for the set based design and it stands for nurture or build or develop incrementally in sprints or in iterations d stands for definitive evaluation of our working systems that means you know at regular intervals we are just looking at how much we have done so far what value we are able to generate that is definitive or the objective evaluation of working systems a stands for assemble or make our value flow uh, in our solution, in our systems, in our product without any interruptions or blockers. T stands for time-based, same cadence and synchronized events when there are multiple teams working uh, together in the product development, part of the same art, we have to ensure that they are using the same cadence and they have synchronized their events. I stands for intrinsic motivation of knowledge worker. That means, you know, we have given the right autonomy to our team. They, we have helped our teams to have the right motivation so that they feel very much part of this uh, product development cycle. O stands for option or decision based on decentralized approach. That means there are certain some set of decisions which definitely our team can take and which will be fast and that this will also empower our teams and the last one n letter stands for note that we have to organize our work around value so this is the foundation that we can uh, use to remember the 10 safe principles so that's pretty much about today's video. I hope you guys liked it. And if you are new to this channel, please share and subscribe. This will definitely motivate me to share more learning videos with you all. So thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Thank you.